Hey, we're doing a tutorial on Color Vault and the new Costume Injector tool. So I'm going to be going over the Costume Injector tool. I'm going to go over everything you need, how to use it, how it links up to the Discord, all that fun stuff. Alrighty, are you ready? We got a lot to go over. Let's get started. So you're going to need Java. So you're going to go search up Java Download. Go to Java.com and you're going to download Java. So download Java, get that going. And if you want to verify you have Java, all you gotta do is open up command prompt and then hit Java dash version. All right, see, I got Java, so we're good. All right, next thing's next. We're gonna do JPEXIS. So JPEXIS we need to download. So you wanna search up JPEXIS and you wanna go to the GitHub. You wanna go to github.com, Ginger Petrick. JPEXs. When you land on the page, so I'm just going to click it directly. Alright, you want to hit go to releases right here and you want to install it for Windows. And then once you get that installed, it should show up right here. JPEXs. Bam. Alright, next thing you need is SSF2. So SSF2, that's the game. You go to SSF2 SuperSmashFlash.com and you'll download the game get it all downloaded, get it all installed. Let me quickly explain some things. Java, you need Java because you can't run JPEXs without Java. Now what is JPEXs? If you've never modded SSF2 before, that's how you can like edit the data files. Essentially the program that I made, the Costume Injector program, acts as a, like, a front end for JPEXs. So instead of having to go through and edit the code directly, my injector program kind of does it all for you. Alright, by the way the music I'm playing is from SSF2. <laughs> Alright, once you get SSF2 installed, so there you go. Super Smash Flash 2 Beta, that's the old game. <laughs> Super Smash Flash 2 Beta. You can also install the portable version by the way, this will work with the portable version. Next you gotta do is you wanna search up SSF2 Color Vault and you wanna go to this link github.com master webex color vault right where it says it stores all the costumes for the public color vault pack all right ignore the releases that's all outdated so what you can see right here is you know what? i'll go over that in a bit let's scroll all the way down right here you want to hit that link costume injector whatever version it's at, at the moment all right you go here you download it So we're gonna download it. Now this is a, a new program, it's not commonly used. So you're gonna get some false positives. So what you wanna do here, and you know what, first let me just quickly go over. Let's go over here. If you go right here to the other folder and the source folder, I'll have updated this after this video with all of these files. So these are the source files. So you can actually just compile it with Python from Injector 1 and you can see exactly what I'm doing. So if you ever good at programming and you want to like improve upon the program, well there you go, it's right there. Open source. Alright, let's go back here, hit those three dots, hit keep, show more, keep anyway. Alright, so this is in my downloads folder and I'm gonna open it. All right, so okay, it set up the UI. I found JPEXs. We got that installed. Now we have to SSF2 must be copied to a valid location for modding. Please download SSF2. We already did that. Or select an existing installation. So you hit select SSF2 folder to copy, and then you're gonna go into local C program files x86. And if you installed it the way I did, it's gonna be right there. So you just click on it once and hit select folder. Now it's asking you where you want it. So you can put it on your desktop. And then SSF2 modded build. Alright. Hit that. Select folder. Directory already exists. Uh, I might get rid of this thing in the future. Just kind of ignore and say yes. It's kind of double checking, making sure you want to do what you want to do, right? And then this all should happen, and then all you gotta do is hit continue. If you have any issues, 
make sure you install Java, okay? <laughs> I think I've seen some issues where people have installed Java and then we have problems. All right, hit continue. This operation will use JPEXs. You can hit do not show again, continue. Again, so this is like the front end. What essentially it's doing is it's telling JPEXs, hey, open up this file, grab this stuff so I can do what I'm gonna do here, All right? You got your uh, settings window showing you where all your files are. You can restart the setup. You can start your fresh this file, which contains the costumes. You can run this feature, which will take forever, but will hopefully download all the costumes from the GitHub. And at the time, we're at a we're at a lot of costumes. I think <laughs> I think we're at where is it? We're at 3,683 red colors that are on the the GitHub. That means they're they're all they're all in here. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyways, and then you got your little about thing right there. That doesn't work for now. <laughs> the hide log. So you can see the log, see everything that's happening, everything that's going on, what it's doing. All right, and then you can hit create your own recolor. All right, so this is cool. So you can select an image, like Bandana D, Bomberman. So this is before the the, the recolor is applied. So that's why it looks kind of weird. It's showing you the color separation. And what you can do is you can select multiple colors, and it's already doing uh, a tint on them. You can go here, all right? And we can turn that saturation down, up the contrast a bit, and bam! Now he's got a white body. That's cool, right? And then you can change it. You can use whatever program you want at the end of the day. I just made this because I wanted something easy and simple to kind of put stuff together. And if I build it out, I can even have it set where you can select the face, different parts, right? Like the bandana. And then you can uh, change the color of it, right? Right. See that? This is changing right here. Anyways, let's keep on going. So now you want to select a character. Let's select Bandana D. All right, you can see the previews for all the existing costumes that are already, you know, installed. And what we can do is we can load costumes from online. So it's going to fetch it from an online repository, the GitHub, right? Bam, they're all here. Check it out. Now you're wondering, okay, like, how can I get these in the game? It's really simple. You can select a bunch of them. So what I did is I just, you can, you can click and drag or shift select, hit move to current list. So this is your current list. And then it'll show up right here. Bam. And then from there, what we'll do is hit save and play. And then you can hit do not show again so you don't see all these things. Excuse me. You see how late it is? I've been working on this. <laughs> this program a lot of issues, okay? <laughs> That's the reason why it's 11.54 p.m. All right, we're gonna go full screen. All right, we, we did Bandana D. Shoot. All right, Bandana D. Bam. See? We added those at the very end. Wait, no, wimp. What is this? Alright. Loads in. Should be online safe. Should be online safe. <laughs> Alright, you don't need to see my terrible gameplay. Alright, so that is how you get from the online repository, but there's more. You can also add new costumes. Check this out. You can hit the add new button. And now we can upload an image here. And it will extract the palette and all that fun stuff. So, don't judge. We're going to take this ugly, ugly image. You know what? No, we're not going to take this ugly, ugly image. I'm, I'm going to pull something. Alright. Let's get Steve. Alright. This guy. Shout out to this guy. He made a Steve costume for... <laughs> I watch I watched the movie, okay? Don't judge. Alright, where's the download button? I guess we can hit save image as. Is there is there a download? Alright. Save image as. 
DD Steve. All right. Uh, is it gonna is it gonna recognize that? Oh, okay. 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 Let's see. Let's see if I can do it like that. Oh, oh, you know what? This is really funny because King DDD and Bandana D share a lot of similar colors. So, so th this will actually kind of work, but for the sake of this uh, tutorial video, well, let's let's go to the right character. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So you can see it's a. Uh, Got the preview there. Our boy looks the same. He's got that goofy smile. Hit save. All right, let's let's go ahead and see who made this. So I'm just gonna just gonna just gonna. All right, there we go. Open up. All right, clean that up. I am Steve. <laughs> You know what, like, somebody might watch this video, like, a few years from now, and they're going to be like, what's this guy talking about? The movie just came out, like, a few weeks ago, okay? Give me a break. Anyways, it's, it's added to the bottom. Preview shows up, right? And then we get save and play. Let's see, Bandana D still has its costumes. Whew, all right. King DDD is Steve. <laughs> all right. All right. Look at that. Look at that. See, it, it, it's that easy. It's, it's that easy. So you make your image wherever you want to. You can make it. You can make it here. You can make it anywhere. And then what you do is you you go ahead and you you use the add new button. Now let's say you want your costume to pop up. I'm just gonna move this one to to trash, right? Let's say you want your costume to pop up right here. So we got we got two costumes here. You know, games are relatively new. This will this will add up over time. But you want to add Steve here. All right, so let's go on to the Discord, which you can, by the way, you can't join Discord, and it will give you the invite directly to it. And then if you submit it, and then you become a creator, so this guy hasn't submitted. Oh, did he submit code? Maybe he did. I'll have to take a look at it. Anyways, props to the awesome costume. We're going to go to DDD, or King DDD, King 3rd D. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab the code. Now, I know this isn't... Oh yeah, we can't use that. You're gonna hit. Ooh, I might have done a little oopsie here. For doing it from here, it's a little bit complicated. I'm going to make it a better process. You want to hit save. Let's see. Um, I'm Steve. Save. All right, it shows up. You want to hit download current, and then we're going to hit DDD, save. All right, again, like, <laughs> this <laughs> this part I did not fully think through, okay? So, so give me a little bit of a break here. We're going to scroll all the way down. We are not... Is that gonna work? Is that gonna work? I don't trust that. I don't trust that. Let's hit save changes. All right, we're going. To, we're going a little bit on the the reckless side. It's okay. It's okay. We're bringing this back. All right, DDD. Still a new program. Still, still got its. Still got its bugs. 
Alright, pray, 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 pray. Yes! Okay, this is what we're looking for. It's got the numbers now, so we shouldn't have any problems. So you want to hit that, that little, last little uh, curly brace before the bracket, and then you want to you just put your cursor to the right of it. We're going to scroll all the way up until you see I am Steve. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> And then you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna select all of that and you're gonna copy it. And then you're gonna go on the Discord channel. You're gonna paste it. It's gonna make a message text automatically. And then you're gonna grab your image. All right. Many people can see like oh what the heck this is. And then I'm just gonna tag. I'm gonna tag this person. All right. So at Opt-on. Alright. Alrighty. So, the bot message us saying it got added to the color vault. And then you got a little thumbs up there saying that everything went well. So there we go. So then we got it uploaded. So then we um, kind of give it like 30 seconds for it to like, like do all the processing and stuff. So, so if you see right there, it's pending. It's doing the, it's adding the costume. So it's gonna add it to this, this file. So once, once that is green, it's good to go. I assume it's going to take like 30 seconds. How y'all doing today? I hope you're having a good day. This video does drag on a little bit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hopefully you're having a good time. Oh, look at that. All right. We got the little check mark. So now if we hit load costumes from online. Oh, look. Popped up right there. I can move this to trash. I can move this to the current list. All right. And there you go. And then when you hit save and play, the, the costume will appear. You know what? Oh, I wish I could. I mean, I could. I could do whatever I want. Let's see. <laughs> I just thought it'd be a waste. Let's let's add these other two, just so you could see that like this worked. I'm a little worried about this music selection right now. It might make you fall asleep. Anyways. Should have done that from the beginning, right? <laughs> Alright. You got Steve, you got that other costume. See? I meant to make them, uh, I messed up. Alright. Alright. Humans. Alright. Alright, there you go. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, so, got all the costumes. It's all working now. See? So that's how you do it. That's how you make recolors. That's how you get the recolors to the repository, the Discord. Yeah, all of it. So I hope you get a chance to check out the costume injector tool. Put a lot of effort into this and probably be updating it as it goes and make it even better. And anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day and see ya.